Okay, now we're playing with fire, so let's add the rest of our action script for the remaining two buttons. Let's come over here, and I'll just select uh, Victim, BTN, BTN for that, and I'll select the Message button, and I'll do Message, BTN, and be very careful with your spelling here. It is uh, it's very sensitive uh, spelling error, so make sure that you have everything spelled correctly. And I use I like to use the same naming conventions on all of my buttons, so those are my instance names. So I go back into my actions code and skip a line, and I'll just go ahead and copy and paste. And I'll come up here to letter nav, and I'll just label this. Since what I have is I've got the uh, victim and message navigation that I want to play in. So I'm going to do the victim first. So I'll just label this victim nav and keep everything else the same there. This will be victim scene. And then it will be victim btn. And this, instead of letter nav, it's going to be victim nav. Another line of code, or copy and paste the rest of the code. In this case, it's going to be message nav. Go to and stop on message. And instead of letter btn, it'll be message btn. Be message, oops, message nav. Remember, this message nav is going to correspond with the function that you've called. So now we control enter again, test it, and cross our fingers. And over here to victim nav, click on victim nav, and we've got in this case we have an error. So what it's going to tell us is scene victim not found in the very first line. It's important that we read through these errors. So it says victims not found. So we close this and we come down and we notice that our scene name is called victims, not singular. So we want to go back to our main scene and we want to go to our timeline and come down where it had victim btn and instead of the message so victim nav change this to victims. Plur. Control cast again. Good. Click on victims and it's going to jump to that victim scene. Let me rewind and play my movie once again. Let it play out the animation. And then message and it jumps to my message scene. So we're good. So it's good that error pops up because that's going to show you any issues that you are having with your code, you want to read through Flash is good about telling you what the error is, where to find it. You can just double click on that error message and then you can go uh, you can go right to it and it's a fantastic way to fix any um, any issues that you are having with your um, with your code. It's a good way to double click everything or check everything to make sure everything's running smoothly.